Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, it is Friday, TGIF. I hope that you are finally getting ready to relax, to enjoy the weekend, to maybe have a nice family time, or sometimes with your friends, you know, or like doing something nice. If you have, if you had a very long uh, week, I understand you. I got you. I'm still going to be here during the weekend giving you all the tea that you love and enjoy. Uh, I want to welcome every single one of you. If you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop where we keep it real. We mention it all, you know. And um, if you want to know everything that is going on in the Bravoverse, pop culture, reality TV, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. Guys, my collaboration with Rose Forever is very much active and they have all of these new collection of flowers. You know that I, I love them. I have shown them, showing them here many, many times. You know, they are beautiful. They are amazing. And now they also have the new collection of candles that smell amazing. Okay. So make sure to check them out. The link is in the description below and do not forget to use my discount code andy40 and you will get 40 dollars off your order okay all right guys um today there is a new episode coming of my podcast let's talk about this mess you know so make sure to check out spotify or wherever you get your uh podcast um it's going to be a very interesting episode with a, with a very interesting uh guest so if you're a fan of Vanderpump Rules, you definitely are going to want to like be catching this episode. All right. And if you want to see the video portion of the, the podcast, then you have to go to my Patreon for exclusive access. The link also on the description below. All right, guys, let's talk about the real housewife of Beverly Hills for a second. You know, after watching the housewife and the hustler part two, I, I was like, my opinion of Erica Jane, I, I didn't thought that it could be lower. And then the documentary came, bring a huge ass machine, broke the floor and drop Erica Jane even lower. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, this girl, I just like, I just, I can't. You know that some of, you have housewives that maybe you don't like them because, you know, maybe they're petty or maybe... They are not just your cup of tea, you know, but this girl is playing evil. Okay. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't understand how someone will like support her because this girl is evil. It's evil. Okay. It's just like playing bad. I, just, I can't stand Erica Jane. I'm so sorry. You know, I think one of those housewives that are on this little circle, you know, with like Kelly Dog, I think. Guys, to be very honest with you, I will prefer to sit down with Kelly Dodd and Ramona Singer and have a conversation. Even with homophobic Peggy, I would prefer that than being in a conversation with Erica Jane at this point. I'm just like, no, it's just too much, you know, and nothing adds up. She's like so weird, you know, she, it's always like, oh, talking all of this shit, protecting the wrong people. She's like now being super friends with like Anne Marie Wiley, which she is like a like literally homophobe, transphobic girl, you know, and it's like make it make sense. I just don't get it. I just don't get it, you know. But anyways, um so after watching the documentary, a lot of people were talking about the earrings, you know, the never ending feud with the earrings. You know, this girl, she's really really keep fighting the damn earrings you know and she is like those are my earrings those are my earrings it's like bitch buy another ones like seriously at this point it's like why are you trying so hard it's like a combination of where the, all the money is hidden in in the earrings like what is happening why is she fighting so much for the damn earrings right um and I, I was very curious, you know, so like I randomly decided to look into it, you know, and I saw, of course, uh, Ronald Richards, you know, posting something because on February 14th, Valentine's Day, you know, apparently the, her lawyers had a deadline to, to like provide some documentation or something like that, you know, to like 
keep this case going or something or like just lose it or drop the case or whatever you know and they w then everyone was waiting like what is this going on so i want to read you some of the things that ronald posted okay he said uh erica gerardi me said oh so february 14 passed and nothing was filed you know so he says erica gerardi misses key briefing deadline her attorney does not miss deadlines typically does only for reasons first she is abandoning her claim to the earrings which is doubtful second there is a settlement coming shortly third he missed the deadline which is also very doubtful because he never lost any deadlines before or number four he got a late extension and the paperwork is coming today we will update when we know more prior briefing attached you know then on another post uh ronald said today is the day for the 750k earrings to file her brief as to why after remands from the district court she should be able to keep the earrings and get some money for them even though the trustee showed the purchase came from a fraudulent case cost invoice and she turned over different earrings than the sales invoice we will post it live it has been a year since the jeweler also corroborated the above hopefully this is the end of the briefing trustee has nine days to reply and then an update after so the, he everyone was waiting till like midnight to see if they were gonna like you know put anything on it and then uh the next day ronald posted an update and said we were right it was number four erica has bought herself a delay until may of 2024 now here is the new stipulations that was just filed there are discovery issues and health issues the trusty witness and documents erica wants incredible new schedule below so basically this girl has not been able to corroborate absolutely anything and instead of giving up the damn earrings, she keep wasting everyone's time. Like she keeps wasting money that I don't know where she's getting from, you know. And it's just like, oh my God, just I, stop with the earrings. And stop with the earrings. You already ruined enough lives in this lifetime. Like, do, does she really need more of the bad karma from the blood uh, diamonds? like girl just like too much i don't know so anyways that's what is happening so far with the earrings are you surprised are you shocked let me know in the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to the real house of Beverly hills or any of the other bravo shows make sure to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye